Lunatics, welcome back to the channel. Day two out here on Texoma. Yesterday was brutal. There's nothing else to say. I blanked, I sucked it up. Um, I, I went with the reaction thing. I threw some slow stuff a little bit. Um, ended up getting one bite on it in the middle of the day and it came off at the boat. I don't know if it was a keeper or not, but um, if it was, it was gonna be scraping that 14 inch mark to, to put it in the well, but it was just a brutal day overall. Had nothing to bring into weigh in. Um, day two is an all new day. Um, the conditions are gonna be different today. It's gonna be warmer. I think there's still gonna be some wind. Yesterday we had rain and everything in the morning, clouds for most of the day. So a lot different conditions today. That could make the reaction bite better or those fish could just be down deep still. Uh, it sounds like some of the, the better bags were, were caught with some fish, you know, not up on the bank. Uh, I don't I, maybe that was the, due to the weather that we had, thunderstorms, lightning, everything the night, night before the tournament started. I'm not exactly sure, but we're going fishing and we're gonna do the best we can to put some fish in the Skeeter today. And uh, please make sure to support GCI Outdoor six cents fishing waterland sunglasses and dual molds they are the sponsors of today's video and all my lake texoma content so make sure to check them out make sure to support those companies waterland is a sunglasses company if you're not familiar with them they make some awesome awesome sunglasses um right here where i'm at in texoma right now sight fishing is any day now and having good quality sunglasses is super important yesterday for as a matter of fact I was uh, in the back of this cut and I was able to see some fish up shallow. I couldn't tell exactly what they were, but I could see them sitting up there, so I was able to cast my bait up there. And, and I think they ended up being some gar or something like that, and you could literally run your crankbait into them. But it's pretty cool to be able to see those fish, to be able to see what you're casting at. In certain areas, I was able to see some submerged some brush and stuff like that. And on the right day, seeing that kind of stuff can definitely make it so you can catch more fish. Didn't end up working that way for me yesterday, but that's something that you definitely, definitely can do. And um, if you're going to Six Cents or Waterland, make sure to use code LUNA10. And uh, for GCI Outdoor, MLF15 on their website, gciaoutdoor.com. And then in the description of today's video, make sure to check out the dual molds link that um, I'm asking you guys to use if you make purchases from dual molds so that way they can see that I referred you to the website. So enough talking, let's get into today's video. Let's get into tournament day two out here on Texoma. Let's go. Well, we just pulled up to check in. We'll go check in with the tournament people, let them know that we are here. We get a little buoy thing that um, we turn at the end of the day and then we'll do the national anthem and FL, this is MLF. So MLF always does a prayer in the morning before. So we'll do the prayer, then we'll do the national anthem and then it's blast off and time to go catch some of these fish. Let us pray. Most gracious heavenly Father, thank you for another day. On this beautiful day, you give us, Lord. I just thank you. Boat 96, boat 97, K97, boat 98. Dude, there's fish chasing down here right now. I don't know what kind of fish they are. They're all over the place though. So. There's one. Stripers. Stripers. Look at that, Look at that thing. <laughs> it's a big striper, dude. Dude, I got a bit right now. I think I had one too. A striper? Well, I don't know. Reel it faster. You'll catch one. Look at, look at that thing. <laughs> You got one? <laughs> well, we're sitting on the school of stripers. Definitely not what you need. It's not tournament day, but at least it feels good to set the hook on something. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. You got a big one? <laughs> Do you want the net? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> oh. I think they're eating my weight, dude. Yeah. All right, last cast and then we got to go. We got to get out of this. It's fun, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got one? There we go, that's a good one, dude. That's just... I got one. Oh, no, I don't, it's a tree. Damn, that felt like one. Felt like a big one, dude. I'm not lying. Felt like a good one, but it's three. Felt like one of those ones where, like, you cast and as soon as you lift up, it's just heavy. Well, so far, catching that tree is just pretty much how my tournament's gone. But we still got four hours to put a bunch of fish in this boat. We need we need nine more fish to come in this boat before the end of the day. It's possible. It's possible. Well, today is another tough one out on Lake Texoma. Texoma has not been my friend, guys. Fishing all kinds of different stuff and it's just not happening. We got basically four four and a half hours left to fish to try to put some fish in the boat we're gonna keep fishing hard and see what happens Well guys, this lake is beating me down. I think I've gotten one bite today and that was first thing this morning and I've been fishing all day hard and not gotten anything. My co-angler today, Jesse, he's caught two fish. One of them's a good one, probably three, four, four pounds, something like that. Um, we need to get him a couple more fish because he might be able to cash a check if he can get a couple more fish. And uh, we got plenty of time to do that. We still got two hours to be able to uh, put some fish in the boat, maybe two and a half. What time is our check-in? 4.30? 4.30. 4.30, so we got two and a half hours still. We, we still got enough time for limits, realistically, um, but we gotta get into some fish pretty quick. So we're gonna keep fishing and grinding this thing out and, and uh, see how the day goes. Big again, take it. There it is. There we go. Finally caught one. Got 
There we go. <laughs> I caught a bass. I caught a bass. <laughs> One. Is that going to measure? <laughs> The one bass we catch, we got measure. Let's see. Oh yeah. I get to go to weigh in today, boys. <laughs> well, we finally caught a fish out here on Texoma for the tournament. It's a small one, but at least we, at least we have something to bring into the scales today and get one fish on the board it's been tough but we got another 45 minutes or so to fish and you never know what can happen in 45 minutes God, it's either a fish that was giant or fishing line, dude. I don't know what it was, but if that was a fish, it was a giant. <laughs> it could have been fishing line. It was one of those kinds of where you grab the fishing line, you can feel the fishing line kind of pulling back on you. But I never felt the bite. It was just that heaviness. Last cast. No one? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, I thought he was bigger than that. Alright, we gotta go though. We got five minutes, what do you think? better. What's your name? Matt Luna. L-U-N-A? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.
least we made it on stage today. Uh, fishing out here has been brutal. Everybody I've talked to, it's been brutal. Um, it was cool seeing Todd Castledine for sure um, at the weigh-in. Um, super cool guy. It was just, it's cool coming out and doing these events because you get to see these people that you only watch or hear about or something like that. So that's one of the really cool things about coming out here and doing these tournaments and getting this opportunity. Um, tough, tough day. Caught two fish today and it was a grind to catch those two. Um, I'm trying to reflect on, on how the tournament went, went how I could have done better, what I could have done to have a better finish. I was never on fish to do that well, but it you got to take something from these tough tournaments. You've got to take some type of knowledge away from these kinds of tournaments because if you're not learning from it then you're just missing out on the opportunity that you had to be out here. So the two fish that I caught today were on two dual mold products that I make myself. Um, it was this swing head football jig mold um, with a four-aught owner hook and a dual mold boss hog and a watermelon black flake with purple in it. And one of my favorite boss hogs that I make. Um, it's comparable to a baby brush hog. Um, and then the other bait, I had a dual mold stand-up football jig. Um, it had a six cents skirt on it and a double tail grub for the trailer. Um, the jungle cross skirt is by far my favorite jig skirt color. It's a super, super realistic color. I wish I would have thrown that jig a whole lot more. Wish I would have just thrown the swing head and the jig pretty much the whole time. And it was just on kind of like do nothing, little tiny secondary points is where we got bit. One of them was an actual like legitimate secondary point, but just the subtle things is what we ended up catching some fish on. Um, Jesse, my co-angler, ended up having three fish. Two of them were short, maybe three shorts, I can't remember, and then he had one that was almost four pounds. So he had a, he had a solid fish on a shaky head. And um, it, it just, it was a grinder. I, I, don't, I don't really know what else to say, but it, it was a grinder for sure. So I'm not gonna lie, it was a long five days out on the water. Um, it was a great experience as always. Um, I'm obviously taking things away from this tournament and um, you know, coming soon is going to be more of a reflections type video. Once I have some time to kind of figure out what exactly I'm gonna take from this event, um, I'm gonna put it out in a video for you guys to kind of hopefully learn something as I'm going through this process of learning how to tackle these lakes, learning how to practice better, how to cover water efficiently, effectively, how to know when to slow down, how to know when to speed up, and how long to give different baits and different techniques before it's time to abandon that and go do something else. So once I have all that information, I'm gonna put it out to you guys, and uh, hopefully you stick around and watch some more videos, and I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed all the content from this Texoma event. Again, big huge thank you to GCI Outdoor. Use my code MLF15 on their website, gcioutdoor.com. Uh, thank you to Six Sense Fishing. Use my discount code LUNA10, sixcentsfishing.com. Thank you to Waterland Sunglasses, waterlandcode.com. Use my code LUNA10 there. Awesome, awesome sunglasses. And also big thank you to dual molds. Make sure to copy that link that's in the description of this video so that way if you make any dual molds purchases, you use that link so that way they know that you came from my content. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be out here enjoying these tournaments, getting to have this opportunity. So please support them as they're really supporting me. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.